now we'll be discussing about the third part of the shoulder joint here we will start with the medial rotators of the show at the shoulder joint that is median rotation so you know that the median rotation is carried out by the muscles which are attached to the bicipital groove that is various lips of bicipital groove is include chair one which is just attached to the lateral rapis pectoralis major to the floor is latissimus dorsi and to the medial lip is teres major muscle these we want along with the anterior fibers of the deltoid will contract like this and will cause medial rotation medial rotation so medial rotators are muscles which are attached to the lateral medial lip of bicipital groove and the floor of the bicipital groove along with the anterior fibers of deltoid this include pectoralis major pectoralis major and teres major and latissimus dorsi and anterior fibers of deltoid These are the main muscles and there is another accessory muscle here. Accessory muscle is which is attached to the lesser tubercle that is the subscapularis. subscapularis. discuss about the lateral rotator lateral rotation <coughs> so uh, this is the posterior aspect of the greater tubercle we know two muscles which are attached to the posterior aspect of it to work these are the infraspinatus infraspinatus muscle and the teres minor muscle teres minor muscle attached to the posterior aspect and this will be holding the humerus laterally so it will cause lateral rotation so which are these two muscles these are the infraspinatus and teres minor along with this there is posterior fibers of deltoid also posterior fibers of deltoid so these are the muscles which are causing movements of the shoulder joint posterior fibers of Delta. Now we will discuss about two MCQs from this topic. First question is this question is upward movement or rotation of glenoid cavity during overhead abduction of the shoulder joint occurs by so option a trapezius and serratus anterior so we know that overhead abduction means 90 to 180 degree abduction we know that two muscles causes 90 to 180 degree abduction at shoulder joint these are the trapezius and upper and lower fibers of trapezius and 
serratus anterior muscle so option a is the right answer second question is abduction initiator is no we know that 0 to 15 degree abduction or the abduction initiator is supraspinatus option a is the right answer and question number three is all the muscles are used to abduct the shoulder except so means all are abductors of the shoulder except so we know that deltoid is an abductor supraspinatus is an abductor serratus anterior is an abductor but pectoralis major is not an abductor it is an adductor so the exception is option d that is answer is option d pectoralis major question number four is Question number 4. The term dynamic stabilizer of the shoulder joint is used for. So, we know that the dynamic stabilizer of the shoulder joint is the musculotendinous cuff or the rotator cuff. So, option A is the right answer. Question number 5. Rotator cuff is or are formed by all except. So, all, all of this are the muscles forming rotator cuff except. Supracinatus forms a rotator cuff. Infraspinatus forms Teres minor is a component of rotator cuff. So, teres major muscle is not a component of rotator cuff. So, option D, teres major is the answer to this question. And question number 6, most common muscle damage in rotator cuff. So, I have mentioned this is supraspinatus. And 7th question. Which muscle of rotator cuff is known as the fog? Which muscle of rotator cuff is known as forgotten muscle? So I have mentioned this. That is option D. Subscapularis muscle is known as the forgotten muscle of rotator cuff. So next question. Rupture of supraspinatus manifest as. So it, it is, we know that the supraspinatus is an initiation initiator of abduction so when there is rupture of supraspinatus it will manifest as difficulty in initiation of abduction this option c is the right answer question number nine which of the following verse communicates with the shoulder joint so this was mentioned in the first part of this video about shoulder joint so the communicating verse of the shoulder joint is definitely the sub scapula bursae that is option c is the right answer thank you for watching this video to see more videos on my channel please subscribe the channel medishare tips thank you